Hi everyone! I am so excited to make this video. I miss making videos and this interaction that we have. Uh, so I just got back from San Diego, um, you know, Mexico. We had a really great trip. Everything was perfect. We It took a little while to get over the border. We barely made it to our Amtrak because um, I live in Santa Barbara. So it was not big of a deal to get the Amtrak instead of flying. We barely made it and then we had six hours of sitting around and doing nothing. So that was exciting. It kind of hurt my stomach a little bit uh, to be like scrunched in a tiny chair. Other than that, everything was great. So I guess I will start from the beginning of the journey. Um, when we got there, I was a little shocked by how nice the INT hospital is. It's really clean. There's white tile. And as soon as I got there, uh, I, we got there a little bit late, actually. I took the Amtrak down. I arrived around noon. My aunt was supposed to come in around 1.30, I believe. When she got there around 2. But my surgery was scheduled for 2, like, as soon as we got there. So, we went from San Diego Airport, hospital, you know, 10, 20 minutes, doing all the tests, surgery. Kind of shocking. I didn't have time to freak out, which I guess is good. But, um, surgery took about, I have, my video says, like, 29 minutes. So, that was, that's quick. I have a video. It was exciting, but kind of creepy watching it. And now I totally know why I'm sore because, you know, all the banging into the internal organs. <laughs> but it was it was really good. I actually woke up from anesthesia. This is my first surgery, though. And, um, you know, under anesthesia. I mean, I went under for wisdom teeth, but not anything like this. I woke up and I was really emotional for some totally crazy reason. And I remember thinking I was having a heart attack because of the gas pain. When people talk about gas pain, you think lower abdomen, like normal gas pain that you have. No, this gas pain is like in your chest, in your shoulders, in your back. It feels like your heart's like going to explode. Um, it was kind of terrible. That was the worst part of the surgery for me. Uh, incision pain, very minimal. Um, right now, I don't even have any gauze on them. And they, you know, they're still tender. Oh, my surgery was Thursday the 22nd, by the way. Um, so they're still tender, but not anything bad at all like I've had worse pain from well I get hurt quite often so I have worse pain on a daily basis uh, the gas pain that got me uh, so you know gas X and walking helps so much it was kind of embarrassing and awkward at first because you walk and I would be like oh gosh I think gas is coming up whether it's gonna come up or you know it was but yeah, I guess you get used to it oh <laughs> that was quite funny um, I'm really happy that I had such a great experience because Trish and Dr. Ponce de Leon were amazing. Ponce de Leon, yeah, he doesn't speak English, but I'm um, semi-bilingual. I can understand Spanish, not very good at speaking it, um, but I was able to understand everything perfectly fine. He, you know, he had a translator in case I need one. Trish was translating. Um, the whole team was awesome. Everyone was gorgeous, looked like they stepped out of a novella. Um, it was really funny. But Trish made everything so, like, she was just hands-on. My aunt, you know, who eats, um, was able, she brought her some meals. She took her to go get food, you know, when I was resting. She was really awesome. And, um, you know, the, what, what day was it? Yesterday, so what is that, my third day out of surgery, third day post-op? She, we went to Ensenada, which is, uh, it is about two hours, maybe even three hours away from Tijuana. But it was fun. We took off in the morning and we walked around the uh, Bufadora, which is like this part of, um, it's like a corner of the ocean kind of where the rocks hit, but the water comes in to like the corner. So it kind of creates like, oh, it's called a blowhole. That's what a Bufadora is. But it comes up and it spills all over everybody and there's like a splash zone and they have the open air markets and that was really, really fun. So we spent the day doing that and I was, you know, I was fine. Uh, we found a place that had broth. And I was fine the whole day. Like, I didn't have any gas pain. Um, it was a pretty bumpy ride, but that didn't even hurt. I was feeling really good. I was shocked at how good I was feeling. And, uh, yeah, then we just called it a night. Oh, the Lucerna is really nice. Um, and they've got a great restaurant, you know, for your other half that eats. And they do have some great broth and some great sugar-free popsicles. And it was just a really, really fun experience. I'm really happy, actually that I chose to do it with uh, the people that I did. And I'm, yeah, I'm feeling great. Um, so it's about 8.37, and I actually just had some broth about an hour ago or so. 
So I've been sipping on my water. You know, the night goes by. It's as far as we've gone. Not very far. Um, but I'm able... I'm averaging about like 40 ounces of liquid a day between the broth and some diluted juices and some water. Um, I don't quite agree with Ponce de Leon's diet nutrition plan. You know, for I, I think it's really mostly uh, based on low calorie. More, It's more based on like fruits and yogurts and not so much incorporating the protein. And so I think I'm going to wave a little bit from that. But I'm definitely going to hold like, you know, the first 10, maybe two weeks, you know, clear liquids. After that, full liquids, and then slowly get my way into soft foods. I'm definitely going to do that, but I'm going to incorporate more protein, you know, protein shakes and stuff like that, and um, it's not, he didn't make it up, his nutritionist did, who, by the way, is gorgeous, insanely gorgeous. I was like, oh, I should have put on some makeup, but uh, it was, yeah, so I don't quite agree with that, so I'm kind of trying to find my own balance right now, but I am getting in a lot of liquids I'm actually really shocked I haven't had trouble with anything staying down um, I haven't had any like chest pains besides the gas pain no reflux yet uh, I'm not even taking my pain medication pain medication and I'm just doing really well I just weighed myself too about 10 minutes ago okay day of surgery 260 pounds right that was Thursday today Monday 251 pounds 251 9 pounds like is that even possible I don't know it's total craziness to me I'm yeah I'm hoping it doesn't go back up but wow that's insane um I don't know I feel so good too I feel so good and I had such a great trip and it's just been a, such a great experience I am I'm just I'm blown away it's nothing like what I ever even thought it was going to be but I'm really happy with everything right now and I'm feeling so good I don't know and I'm really happy that I have the rest of this week off <laughs> spring break so I get to just kind of lounge in my messy room and um you know walk around the oh it's Santa Barbara too great weather well we're supposed to have a storm but I can walk around the block you know drink my water my broth have a really good week um before I go back to the hectic life of school so yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update. Um, I hope everyone is doing great. And yeah, I just hope everyone's doing as great as I am. And um, if you have any comments, questions, anything, you can just leave it in the comments section below. All right, bye.